Hey, so in my last video, we talked about sugar cravings and ways that we can break them. And one of the suggestions were to have an alternative for when you're feeling something sweet. So instead of reaching for those cookies or that cupcake, you can have this recipe in your arsenal for when those times come. Now, this recipe is a fan favorite. It's a coconut coffee date bread. The great thing about this bread is that it contains no refined sugars. Instead, this bread is sweetened naturally using dried dates. Now, for those of you that don't know, dates are full of nutrients. So we not only get that sweetness from the dates, but we get the added benefit of getting extra nutrients like fiber, potassium, B vitamins, iron, magnesium, and copper. Now, I love this bread because it's not only super delicious, but it carries well. So whenever you're out and about, instead of finding yourself in a place where you're suddenly extremely hungry and all you have are fast food options, you can carry this in your bag or your purse and have it on the road. In addition, you can also freeze it. So when you're feeling something sweet, all it takes is a quick pop in the toaster and you have something that is incredibly healthy and nutritious for you. Now, just a quick caveat about this bread. I am making it today with all purpose flour. Now, I chose to do that intentionally because it all depends on where you are on your health journey. If you are someone who is currently reaching for those highly processed ready-made options at the store, then having something that is made with whole wheat might not be enticing enough for you to eat. So what I like to say is that it's not just the nutrition facts that's going to get you to eat the food, but actually what are the things that you are willing to eat that will give you some nutrients. So I purposely used all purpose flour. So for those of you who want a whole wheat substitute, I'll have those conversion rates in the description below. But I'm not too worried about the small amount of all purpose flour that we use in this recipe because I've also included things like nuts and the dried coconut flakes that it's going to slow the absorption of those carbohydrates in your bloodstream to not cause such a big spike like you would have if you had something like ice cream or cookies or um, your other sweet options out there. So I really hope that you enjoy this recipe. So far, everyone that's tried it really, really, really loves it. So I'm hoping that's the same for you. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are gonna start with two cups of roughly chopped dates. We're gonna add it to a mixing bowl with four tablespoons of softened grass-fed butter, three teaspoons of baking powder, a dash of salt, and one cup of hot brewed coffee. Then you are going to stir to combine, allowing the mixture to completely cool for 15 minutes. From there, we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, the rest of the baking powder, one and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour and egg. I actually ran out of eggs so I uh, just went ahead and did a flax egg which is a great substitute if you are vegan or if you're like me and just ran out of eggs at the moment. From there we are just going to stir it in and then add in one cup of almonds and half a cup of dried coconut flakes. Pour the batter into a prepared pan and bake the bread for 45 to 55 minutes, being sure to tent the loaf with foil after 30 minutes to prevent over browning. Then once it's completely cool, you can go ahead and slice it and enjoy. That's it, and then you have a beautiful sugar-free alternative and something extremely tasty. 